anyone else's favorite time of the day, snack time? Hmm, banana or chocolate? Banana or chocolate? Of course, both are tasty options, and I know the banana is healthier for me, but why is it that I just want the chocolate anyways? To get to the bottom of it, I asked Kyleen Bogdan to stop by the studio. She's a dietitian and nutritionist at the Cleveland Clinic, meaning she knows how to fuel up without giving in to the sweet temptations. I started by asking her, why is sugar just so good? Take a listen. Sugar is so good, not only because it tastes great, but because it lights up the pleasure center in our brain, known as the nucleus accumbens. So every time we eat sugar and that center lights up, it says, hey, I'd like a little more. And you said that that's kind of the same feeling our brain gets if I win a sports game? Exactly, you win a sports game, you can end your task, you have that natural high and you're like, yes, let's do this again, it's the same feeling. So if I really want sugar, one of my first places to go might be grabbing a bottle of pop. Sure. But you surprised me, there's a ton more sugar in there than I realized. Yes, so when you first look at this, you think, meh, not a big deal, it only contains about 200 calories, maybe a little more. But when you flip over the label and you see 69 grams of sugar, that is not good. In fact, that translates to 18, almost 18 teaspoons of sugar in one little bottle of soda. So maybe I want something a little bit healthier and I reach for a cup of yogurt. Sure, so you're on the right track. And yogurt is a great option, but be careful because many yogurts are sweetened with fruits and syrups and different things. For example, this is strawberry yogurt. Tastes great, but contains about 15 grams of sugar. Holy cow. Right, so that's about four to five teaspoons of added sugar. I would not have expected what I think of as a healthy snack, yogurt, to have so much sugar in it. Right. So if I can't have my pop and I can't have my yogurt, what can I have instead? Okay, so if you want a quick grab and go treat that tastes good and is somewhat sweet, you could try dates or nuts. Mm -hmm. So dates are great because they're easily portable. They have a nice texture, kind of like a caramel. And it's okay. great for those who are very active. You want a little, little energy before you play your sport or before you go on the playground. Dates are a great option. And also cinnamon coated almonds. If you're someone who likes that crunch, but you also like a little bit of sweet, there's only seven grams of sugar in one serving of these almonds. Almost everything still has sugar in it. If I'm drinking a glass of milk, that has sugar, but how am I supposed to know if it's good or bad for me? Sure, so when you're at the grocery store and you're shopping, always make sure to flip over labels. So for milk, for example, let's start with that because you mentioned it. When you flip it over and you see 12 grams of sugar in that label, but then you go down to the ingredient list and you don't see any added sugar. It just says cow's milk, that's a great option. Versus the granola bar that you might go to next also has 12 grams of sugar, doesn't sound too bad, right? But then you go down to the ingredient list and you see the first ingredient or second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup or brown rice syrup or something of that nature, that's added sugar. So maybe I should just stick to fruit. <laughs> yes, real food from the earth, always. Great, thanks so much for coming in, Kylie, and I appreciate it. Thank you.